Joe Biden's recent statements uh, on the economy reveal a president completely out of touch with the pain and the suffering that he's causing the American people. If you wanted to describe Bidenomics in one word, it would be failure. The economy is the number one issue facing our country. All of us have been traveling our states. I've been all around Wyoming over the break talking with folks. People are fed up. They're fed up with record high prices, record high interest rates if you want to borrow money, and a record high debt. And they're tired. They're tired of having to work so very hard just to try to keep up with the prices that continue to go up. They seem to be hit right between the eyes every time they go to the store or fill up with gas, try to buy groceries, all of those things, and they're mad. People are mad because they see the country heading in the wrong direction and they don't see us getting back on track. People also do not believe that Joe Biden is up to the task. Only one in three Americans think that President Biden and the Democrats are actually doing a good job on the economy. And the case in point is this past Labor Day weekend, gasoline prices hovering at about $4 a gallon. Well, that's up over $2 a gallon from where we were about two years ago. And back to school shopping, it has become very, very expensive and very stressful for American families. Whether it's putting food in the lunchbox, supplies in the backpack, we're all seeing increased costs as a result of Bidenomics. Well, Republicans have solutions to make things more affordable, and it's to cut the wasteful Washington spending. It's to release this death grip that the regulators have, the bureaucrats here in Washington, making everything more expensive back home, and it is unleashing American energy. We have it in abundance. That's the way to get America back on track.